The final thing we need to do to wrap up the component side of things is to fix our tasks add component. Now you'll remember we have this input form control and if we jump back to the UI, we have this input here but it doesn't do anything. We were just logging to a console at one point and we kind of want to make this work now. So when we enter something, our Angular application has to react to that and then we really want to push this into a service which in turn pushes it back to our Spring Boot app to add a new task. So we're going to do that now. If we come in here, we have our input here, and we want to react to something. And what we're going to react to is the key up enter. So when that event happens, we want to call a method. And we're going to call on task, what do we want to call this? On task add. And we're going to pass the event along with that. So that's it from the, the template side of things. Now if we go into the task add component, we want to have a new method for that. So we're going to have something called on task add, and that's going to get passed an event. So from there, we're going to do some things and we're going to end up calling a service. So let's go ahead and fix the service side of things. And I've added a new method here called add task that's going to take a task of type task. And again, all we're doing is calling the same kind of method that we were calling when we were saving the task without this. Uh, I just created two separate methods here just for ease of use, but you could combine these into one save task method that could handle both saving a existing one and adding a new one. But just for simplicity, here's another one called add task. So now if we go back to our task add component, we need to call our service. So to do so, we need to get it into this component first. So I'm going to say private task service and that's of type task service and we need to make sure that that's imported there and now that I have an instance of it we can call that so let's say let task so that's our variable task equal a new task and this is going to take an event dot target value so that's the inputs value it's going to be completed as false and it's going to get a new due date. So let's come back to that in a second. I have a quick method that I'm just going to paste in here. This isn't the most elegant, but this will work real quick. And we just want to say this dot get today as string. Now I want you to note in the break here, I fixed one little thing. Our task model, if you remember, actually took an ID and I said we'd come back and change this later. So now that when we create a new instance of a task, we don't want to pass an ID in. We want to pass this task with just the name, the completed, and the due date to Spring Boot because on the back end there, our ID is generated. So I kind of fixed that up as well. So now we have a task. We can call our task service. And we can do that by saying this dot task service dot add task. And that's the task that we just created. So once we have that task added, we're going to subscribe. And what we want to do when we get that result back is we'll have a new task. And what we're going to do with that is a couple of different things. So the first thing we want to do is we want to clear the input. Now to do so, we're going to need to set a new variable in here. And I'm just going to call this add task value which is a string and we'll initialize it to null. Now to assign this to our input we could use data bonding but there's actually a better way to accomplish this here and I'm going to use ng model. So if we jump back over here and we get here I'm going to say ng model is equal to add task value. So now what we can do in our component is we can say this dot add task value is equal to empty. So that's that. And then now what we need to do is if we were to run this application, everything would work fine. But when we added a new task, if we looked in the database, it would be there, but the UI itself would not be updated. And that's because when we load the list of tasks we do it on initialization 
there's nothing to tell us to go back out and refresh that UI, if you will. And in fact, if we're just adding a single task, there's no reason to go back to the database because we already have that new task. So we can get informed when that task is added, we can just take that task and push it into the array of tasks that we push down to our template. So how are we gonna accomplish this? Well, if we go back to our service, we're actually going to use basically an output. We're gonna emit an event which is then which we could then subscribe to later on and anytime that happens we can go ahead and react to it so we're just gonna say on task added is equal to new event emitter and it's going to be of type task and that's it so now we have this new event emitter when we come back to our task add component we basically want to admit this event so we're gonna say this dot task service dot on task added dot emit and now we're gonna emit our new task so we're emitting it here when we add a new task so all we need to do to wrap this up is on the task list we need to go ahead and listen for this somehow so if we come back here in our ng init where we're already doing a little bit of initialization here by getting the tasks, we also want to go ahead and subscribe to that on task added event when we start up this component. So I'm going to say this dot task service dot on task added, but now we're subscribing to it and Basically, when we subscribe to this, we're going to get a task, which is of type task. And when we get it, all we need to do is get our tasks array and push a new element onto it. So we get this task and we push it onto that array. So I think that should just about do us. Let me see here. We got an error. Uh, whoops, we don't need that. All right, everything compiles. Let's go back. So we can still go ahead and check these and uncheck these. But now we can add a new task here. Hello, everyone. And when we get it down here, we go ahead and add the new task. So now the only thing is I'm noticing that we are not clearing that out. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, whoops. A little bit of a typo on my part. Let's try that. There we go. Now when we add that, we both clear the input and then we emit an event where the task list is subscribed to that and then when we get that task, we go ahead and push a new task onto that array. So I think that's it. That's where we'll leave it with the add task component. Now that that's kind of wrapped up, uh, most of our components for the task application are complete. We do have a few things that we need to talk about, but we'll do that in the next lesson.